campaign against arms trade. It comes as British politicians condemn Tel Aviv's use of force against Palestinian protesters. RT's Jacqueline Vuga investigates. After Israel's use of live fire against Palestinians on May the 14th, there was condemnation in much of the world, not least the UK. Yesterday's horrific massacre at the Gaza border left at least 58 dead. The loss of life we have seen is tragic and extremely concerning. Such violence is destructive to peace efforts and we call on all sides to show restraint. The large volume of live fire is extremely concerning. We continue to implore Israel to show greater restraint. Yet despite those strong words, for years Britain has been ramping up how much weaponry it sells to Israel. Since 2015, numbers have skyrocketed up 11-fold in the span of just two years. And those sales include sniper rifles, weapon sites, ammunition for small arms, anti-riot equipment, and other items similar to those used by Israeli forces against unarmed protesters. The UK doesn't keep data on how such equipment and weapons are used after being sold. Until that can be established, MPs put forward a motion to suspend sales altogether. In the light of the extensive use of live fire by Israeli forces against Palestinians in Gaza, the House calls for a suspension of UK arms sales to Israel, unless it can be demonstrated that weapons and components imported from the UK are used solely in accordance with the consolidated criteria. That motion did not make it to debate. And while just after the killing of protesters, Britain did join the chorus of countries calling for an independent investigation, when the UN put sending a war crimes probe to Gaza to a vote, the UK abstained, calling into question just how important the truth is to Theresa May's government and leaving London in the comfortable position of condemning potentially horrific abuses while selling the guns to carry them out. They, are, they have always been arming Israel, and actually they've increased their arms to Israel despite being critical occasionally. But the more wars, the more the shareholders go, oh, how much is that up? How much is Elbit shares up? Those stocks must be rising. They must be going through the roof. I think, I really believe it, that if those chairmen, those shareholders, those people working at BA Systems or Elbit or any other of these arms manufacturers that are buying Israel to find Saudi, they could see the hospitals where I was, where those children were coming in one by one, some without legs. If they could see that, I don't think they'd be selling these weapons at all. I think they would walk away from the industry. The Israeli army denies using excessive force against protesters. It accuses Hamas of fueling the riots. But now reports of the IDF, deploy IDF are deploying heavy weaponry appear almost every day. On Sunday, the Gaza Health Ministry said that three Palestinians have been killed by Israeli tank fire. Earlier, the IDF posted this video saying that it attacked a Hamas military post in Gaza and had to detonate a bomb there. That operation apparently preceded the tank fire incident. A political analyst, Mitchell Barak, says Israel has every right to protect its borders. The ones that were killed were close to the border. They were either throwing Molotov cocktails, throwing stones, shooting, trying to do whatever they could to break through the border fence in order to kill Israeli citizens. Please don't call them protesters. We don't care how old they are. If Hamas is willing to put up teenagers or others that are young or old or elderly even in order to break through the Israeli border, the Israeli army will stop them. That's reasonable. The fact that there have been countries that have condemned Israel, I will say, so what? Every country needs to protect their border. Every country needs to protect their citizens. At the same time, a small Bedouin community on Palestinian territory is about to be demolished, with the EU mission in Jerusalem calling on Israel to stop it. It asks that the community be allowed to, quote, live decently. It's the only school here. There are no others. I can't go to Jericho, as traffic is so heavy. If they come and tear our school down, we will study sitting on the ground.
If they tear the houses down, wreck the school, people will stay here all the same, as Bedouins spend most of their lives out in the sun. Israel is targeting not only this settlement, but all those to the east of Jerusalem. A journalist attacked at a neo-Nazi rally in Sacramento in 2016 says Californian police tried to file false charges against him because of his political views. He claims he wanted to film the protest, which then turned violent, leaving 10 people injured. Cedric O'Bannon is a longtime activist against racism and police brutality. He says he went to the riot to film it but was seriously injured. The activist claims all the evidence he had on his camera, including images of the attacker, were erased by police. He also says police did little to protect him from being stabbed. Now, the police in turn say the activist was fueling the unrest by raising his fist in the air as a symbol of black power and had wanted to charge him with assault. They also say the activist was promoting extremist views on social media. My colleague Kevin Owen earlier asked Cedric O'Bannon what he thought the real reason for the charges were. Why would the police, though, have sympathies with neo-Nazis? Again, if you imagine in their own private lives there are some bad eggs there or people that you don't understand how they're thinking, you're saying all the police there that day, there was not one that was really looking out for you, a journalist simply, as you're saying, peacefully documenting this clash. This is a problem with racism in America. This is why somebody like even the president of the United States would get on TV and say that, you know, there's a they're, 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 uh, uh, problem with violence on both sides. To try to equate a reaction to Nazi violence, a reaction to Klan violence as, as the same thing is a, 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 a misanalysis of the situation. The investigator that interviewed me, talked to me on the phone, I could see his white national uh, uh, sympathies. You know, he told the uh, Nazi on the phone he would do whatever he could to help his, make sure his name was not in the paperwork. I think many things could have been done to minimize or have no violence that day. We have asked the police to elaborate on their allegations against O'Bannon, but uh, so far no response. It's not the first time black activists have found themselves on the wrong side of the law. Uh, Rakemba Logan was prosecuted as a black identity extremist, arrested for political views expressed on Facebook. And uh, DeAndre Harris was charged with unlawful wounding after he was beaten up by white supremacists.